First-term Congressman Tom Malinowski is calling himself a leading advocate for securing a safe and fair election this fall, supporting a relief package to give the United States Postal Service an economic boost, and calling out his 7th District challenger, Republican State Senator Tom Kane, for not taking a stronger stance against the president's debunked theories on vote-by-mail systems. The Cook Political Report favors Malinowski for the win, but it's expected to be a good old bare knuckles fight. Congressman Tom Malinowski goes on the record with chief political correspondent Michael Aaron. Congressman Malinowski, thanks for joining us. You're going to Washington this weekend to vote on some stimulus money, but also to take a look at this post office uh, controversy. I'm wondering whether you think that the Trump administration as a deliberate ploy has changed policies and slowed down the mail in an effort to undermine universal mail-in balloting? Um, well, first of all, thank you so much for having me on, Michael. And the, the answer to that question uh, is pretty straightforward because the president has told us that's exactly what he's doing. It's not a mystery. He has said that he is going after the post office because he wants to make it harder and less safe for us to vote. Um, and on top of going after the post office, his campaign is now suing the state of New Jersey to make it harder and less safe for us to vote. And unfortunately, our state Republican Party is standing with Trump against New Jersey in this. So uh, I think it's outrageous. I, I think it's not just hurting our right to vote. We can see across the country it's hurting our veterans and our seniors who are waiting longer for their prescriptions. It's hurting our small businesses who are having greater difficulty getting their products to their customers. So good news, the president has begun to back down. The postmaster general has begun to back down only because I think we have a house of representatives that is willing and able to stand up to them. But we're gonna go back on Saturday, we're gonna pass a bill that will fully fund the post office, that will force them to reverse these changes that they have been making to slow Well, they've down. already reversed. They've already announced that they're reversing the changes. Well, they've announced that they are suspending further implementation of the changes, but they haven't said they're going to plug back in the mail sorting machines that they have been uh, throwing onto the scrap heaps. They haven't said they're going to reverse all of the steps that they have taken. And so we need to put this into law. We need to take a stand here. And, and I think it's gonna be bipartisan. I think we're gonna have Republican votes. Um, Mark Meadows, the president's chief of staff has said that they would be open to a standalone bill. So we're gonna pass one. We're gonna send it to them and that'll Con be the test. Congressman, you're, you're running against a golden name in New Jersey, Tom Kane, albeit junior and not senior. His people say that the Kane brand is independent of the Republican Party or of Donald Trump. What's your response to that? Well, the Kane brand may be uh, historically independent, but Kane Jr. is utterly, excuse me, utterly dependent on President Trump and the Republican Party. And How so? Well, you had him on uh, a few days ago. You asked him a direct question about President Trump slowing down the mail and not wanting to fund the post office, he couldn't give you a straight answer. Um, he went to a Trump rally in January. Tom Kane Republicans don't go to Trump rallies. He endorsed President Trump. And right now, look, this is the test. The Trump campaign is suing us to make it harder for us to vote safely in November. Where's Tom Kane on this? If he wants to be independent, from the President of the United States. This is his chance to say that's wrong, that he stands with New Jersey as I do, not with President Trump. In, a few, the, in, in the few seconds we have, uh, what did you think of the Democratic Convention and Biden's speech? I, I thought it was great. I thought it was unifying. I thought it captured what my constituents in the 7th District want to see in Washington. They want to see honesty, they want to see responsibility. They want to see leaders who take responsibility for our country's problems rather than blaming somebody else. They want to see Republicans and Democrats putting past differences aside 
as so many Republicans with integrity and courage have done in supporting uh, Vice President Biden in this campaign. They want us to move forward and solve problems, attack the coronavirus, repair our relationships with our allies around the world, protect our health care, protect our kids from gun violence. That's what we stood for with the support, again, of many independent-minded Republicans at this convention. That's what the American people, I think, are going to embrace this November. Congressman Tom Malinowski, thanks for being with us. Thank you so much. Thank you.